stop this thing? What is that? Do you see that? Castellano has got that water fluid. What is he doing with it? Oh, no. Hey, no, no, no. No, I light, light, light a lighter. He's got a lighter. It's lit. Oh, security. Security is in. Security is in. Okay. Mantell is now up on the ring. Hey, look out. Massive dive. This is out of control. Stop it right now. Hey, man. So I tell you, in Urban Texas, next month, you and this man will go one on one in a strap match. I'll make it happen. Whoa. Whoa. Sure does. If I had been through what he'd been through, I'd go find a place to hide for a few months. <laughs> I hate to agree with you, but I think you're absolutely right. They've had some, it'd be nice to say that they were in probably the toughest feud I've ever seen in my whole entire life of wrestling. Well, you know, oh, just boy. A, a short time away until we finally get to see uh, Mantel Face off against Castellano again. Uh, this time it'll be in a strap match that Teddy Long oh. made. But tonight, good to see him in the ring and taking on some other great talent here in SWE Fury. He won Bam Bam Malone. And Bam Bam, I hate to say this, he has taken a little bit of a step backwards. Oh! And sometimes when you get on a losing streak, you need a big victory to get you out of that. And it couldn't be any bigger victory if he beat Mantell tonight. Well, you know, Mantell is a broken man after that bull rope match yeah. we saw. And uh, he's in here tonight. This very well could be the opportunity that Bam Bam Malone is looking for. Yeah, and, and I don't know if you saw that when he had his blind side turned. He missed the drop kick, and just then he missed the punch. I wonder if the eye is still bothering him that bad. Well, I would think that uh, bleach being sprayed in your eye as it was from Antel right. would be a qu tough thing to recover from, but fires up a little bit on Bam Bam Malone who uh, returns the favor with a body slam there. And the other thing is, we don't know how much of that lighter fluid got into his face. Well, you know, lighter fluid probably doesn't mix well with the bleach. No. Oh, wow, landing right on the waiting knees of Mantell as does Bam Bam Malone. Oh, right into the corner now, Malone. Oh, jeez. Mantell is unusually strong for his size. And he's not a little guy, he's 240, 245. But he's very thick upper body. Got a great base. He's, he's destined to be a world champion someday. The vicious Mantel. One, two, three, and there he goes. Coming out with a win here tonight. Well, we're not too far away from Mantel getting his hands on Castiano again in that strap match. 
just a couple of short weeks away here on SWE Fury, but tonight, good clean victory over Bam Bam alone. There he is, Ryan Mantell. And it was nice to see him do more technical stuff up tonight. That's right. And we're back. It's not only ladies in action, it's tag team action coming up next here on SWE Fury. sure but here we are she's teaming up with Miranda Gordy here tonight uh, the only half blind female wrestler in, in wrestling today that I know of. I'm not sure what that does we just saw Moonshine Mantel he's half blind male wrestler you know let's just make sure that Wad yeah uh, actually respects wrestling and the rules of wrestling because we all know Miranda Gordy does not well that is uh, the case of late with one Miranda Gordy, the Bad Street Beauty. She's uh, here facing off against Charity Kane and Amber Nova. And you yourself, about a week ago, had a match with Amber Nova. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a pretty good wrestler. You know, she has a lot to learn. Definitely needs to travel the world a lot more, but uh, she was okay. And I say okay with all respect because oh, sure, I yes. am the SWE Women's Champion. Absolutely, as we know you are. The uh, the belt, by the way, uh, there with you here on the table. Absolutely. Never leave home without it. And here we see Charity working the arm of Miranda Gordy. You know, Miranda Gordy came in here, and, and, and you, you and I have talked about this before, uh, came in here and uh, had the respect of the fans. A lot of that having to do, of course, with uh, the legacy, her family legacy, being a Gordy and, and the daughter of Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Something changed along the way. I think it has a lot to do with her ability to follow the rules, as you've mentioned to us. I just don't think she, you know, has that experience in wrestling and has built her own legacy. It's one thing to ride on the shoulder of your parents, but it's another thing to build and be known for your own legacy. Well, the first time we're seeing Wode in the ring, is that how you say it or is it Wad? Wode? Wad, Wode. Wode, I don't Wode. know. Uh, but there you go. She's uh, in here now with Amber Nova. Whoa! Oh, nice move. Old school leg scissor takeover there in the pin of only one. Amber Nova got a hold of that arm now. Whoa! Oh. Wow, driving that shoulder. Off the ropes goes Amber Nova. She comes in. Oh, oh boy, look at that backbreaker. Ah. Gee, one, two. I 
I'm surprised Amber Noble was able to kick out of that. I'm surprised the top half of her body could find the bottom half of her body after that. I mean, Amber Nova absolutely does have fight. I don't think she's ready to give up just yet. But here she is now, working her way to the corner for a small respite. She tries to get herself back up and look out. Whoa, she was ready for her. Up to the ropes, big cross body. Charity getting the tag there on Amber Nova. She's going to be in the ring now with Wood. How about the, the bling on that eye patch there, Kevin Sullivan? I like it. If I had an eye patch, I'd have the exact same You'd one. want a blingy one too, huh? Yeah. All right. Charity Kane in now with Wood. Do I have to say it again? Weapon of ass destruction? I don't think you can say that. Oh, you don't think so? I'm sorry. Am I breaking rules too now? <laughs> she oh, definitely wow. is strong. I don't think there's a weak woman in that ring right now. The pin, one, two. That's all it's going to be. The foot's in the rope there. Whoa, dragging her out to her corner there, getting the tag. With Miranda Gordy. Mm -hmm. They might as well just DQ the match now. DQ the match? Well, this is tag teams working together. Amber Nova is in there now. Hate to play devil's advocate here, but Kevin and I have had many conversations about tag team matches and how what what is uh, bending the rules, breaking the rules, and what it, what would what would merit a disqualification, right, sir? That's it. That's it. And I think a lot of referees have a tendency to be lax on the rules in tag team because there's four people in there at the same time. It is a lot. It's a lot to keep up with. As is Miranda Gordy and uh, Charity Kane finding out the hard way about that. Christy James, your thoughts on Miranda Gordy and the transformation since she uh, first came to see us here in SWE Fury a year ago. You know, um, I don't know what got into her because she used to be very nice. She used to abide by the wrestling rules and she respected her refs and she respected the business. And then something happened. I don't know what it was. Um, she just changed overnight, and it's really, really sad for me to see that. Hmm. We would like to know ourselves what went wrong with Miranda Gordy and what, what caused her to, to start seeing things differently. Whatever it is, maybe it's that free bird blood running through her veins. I don't know. Those guys. That's what I was going to say, Bob. You know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And I wrestled Terry oh. Gordy quite a bit, and he was a handful at all times. And maybe she's watched some of her dad's I mean, tapes. Look at her ego, Kevin. Well, I think we all have egos in the wrestling business, so we wouldn't be in it. You know? Miranda's ego has definitely grown, I would say, over the last uh, year or so. She's definitely found her ego, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and, and, and Champ, don't you think that a lot of these girls know you're here doing the commentary and they're trying to send you a message to scare you maybe? Uh, you know, heavy weighs the crown on the head of the queen, the king. So I think the, everybody in that ring wants what you own. You know, I beat Miranda Gordy for this SWE Women's Championship. I was there that night. I beat Amber Nova. I had a match against an undead being, Sue Young, and I beat her too. I that. am not afraid of anyone in there or anyone in all of wrestling. I am ready to defend this belt. Uh, golden words to live by, uh, but you know you've you've been a fighting champion, and uh, very few people win every time. 
It's like Ric Flair, he's what, 16 times world champion? That meant he got beat 15 times, so. Oh! Whoa! Good move. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna see. Oh, oh. wow! I guess you're... we know where that <laughs> comes from now. Yeah, using that posterior there. I won't use the word she uses in her description here, but uh, to, to her advantage, and there she is. In doing my uh, research on her, I found out that um, that 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 rear end can withstand a chair shot. And, uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, well, Ron doesn't even care. That, wow, little 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 bending of the rules there, kind of beyond what would normally be acceptable in a tag match. I, but, wow. Bob, what kind of chair did you use to test the theory out? Uh, well, this would be the uh, aluminum folding chair. Uh, we didn't have a steel chair handy okay. uh, at the time. She, she challenged me to test it. What if, what if I challenged you to test it? Would you give me a shot too? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Miranda Gordy. Oh, oh wow, big double clothesline there. They both had the same idea at the same time. I felt like uh, last week when we saw you with Amber Nova, that there was there was a feeling of mutual respect though between the two of you. Absolutely, I respect every wrestler that steps into that ring. It takes a lot of guts to get into a ring, knowing that you may potentially one of you guys will get hurt. Uh oh, she's in again. Nova gets the tag. Well, did she get it? Yes, yeah, she got the tag. Amber Nova's in. Flying forearm there. Whoa, she got one for Miranda Gordy, too. Drop kick. Miranda's down. What's going to happen with Woad? Whoa, wait a minute. Wow. Hurricane Rana there. Sends the Woad flying across the, the ring. And there she goes again. Amber going for, what is she doing here? Miranda in. Charity Kane in. They're all in here now. Amber working her way back up. Oh, Charity slamming Miranda Gordy into that ring apron over there. Nova getting the crowd behind her here. Wow. Big headbutt. Off the rope. Amber going up again. Whoa! Brings her down. Gets the pin. One, two, three, and your winner. joining us out here for this match and giving us your insight on this ladies tag team match. Well, thank you for having me, you guys. We'll be back, Good ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple short weeks ago, Melina surprised us all by bringing him here. And there she is, Melina and Kaz. familiar ring entrance there, which hurts every time I see it. And standing behind her, standing tall. Tall's an understatement, isn't it? He is Kaz, and he's here tonight. Christian Mox. We've seen this young man in action plenty here in SWE Fury. 
Well, I don't think I've ever seen him with that nervous look on his face like he has right now, Nigel Rabbit. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen Christian Mott look so dwarfed before. I mean, look at the size of Kaz. It's almost like you need to put something before Kaz, like large Kaz or something. He's humongous. Well, he is going by Kaz XL these days, so maybe the XL after kind of helps. Good grief. Backing Christian into the corner there. What I don't understand is, is what is he doing with this Molina person? Come on now. Well, Molina uh, was the one who invited him and brought him in as a surprise a couple of weeks ago into SWE Fury. Together, I'm not sure what the deal is with them being together. I don't oh. get that. Christian trying a couple of oh. shots. Oh, wow! We've, we've seen Christian Martin in, in rough positions before, but I don't think we've ever seen him manhandled quite like that before. Nope, that would be a first. Oh. Good grief. Huge clubbing blow across the, the back. Christian Mock struggling to breathe now. He certainly brings it, doesn't he? Look at the size of that guy. He goes into the, throws him into the corner there. He's got him up high. Oh, that's a terrible position to be in. Oh, what a long fall that is. I think they had to get clearance from DFW on that one. But I never, ever want to be in a position like that. That's insane. Oh! oh another huge elbow drop. Those elbows are falling a long way. Christian, is he trying to get to the corner there? I don't think any place in the ring is a good place to oh. be. When oh. you're Christian Mox, what is he doing? Mounts one small piece of offense, which is simply moving, and now he's going up to the top rope. Whoa! Wow! Didn't take the big man off his feet, though. Barely dented him. Oh! oh. Right into what a was big he boot! Oh! God, I could heard that connection from here. One, two, three. I didn't see oh. his dental bill. Jeez. Oh, oh that's terrifying. Oh, All I can say is I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Well, who knows what might be waiting for you down the road, Nigel Rabbit, but there he don't is. Don't say such things. I'm sorry. You're a horrible human being. Just pointing out the very clear fact that Kaz is here to stay in SWE Fury, and that's the lady that brought him here, Melina. We are back with more. Our TV champion, he defends his belt, coming up next here on SWE Fury. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to SWE Fury. Rodney Mack making his way to the ring to defend his TV title here tonight against Snowy Bryan. But we are joined right now by Hernandez here in the broadcast booth. Welcome aboard, man. Oh, man, thanks for having me, brother. Well, uh, we've got a lot to talk to you. We're going to unpack some things here, but we're going to get down to the ring right now for this TV title match. Standing to my right is the challenger. He weighed in this afternoon at 225 pounds. He hails from the Mocha Mountains outside of Chocolate City. He's the real deal, Nobi Brian. And standing to my left, he weighed in this afternoon at 250 pounds. He hails from the dog pound. He is the reigning and defending SWE television champion. He's the red dog, Rodney Mack. Well, you just hear the way these fans bark when the man comes out here from the dog pound. Rodney Mack is our reigning and defending TV champion, and we are joined, as I said, by Hernandez here. 
We've got a lot we want to talk to you about. We want to get to know you and why you're here in SWE Fury. But right now, look at this. Whoa. It's getting underway here at Rodney Mac. Straight out, assaulting Noby Bryan, who we've seen plenty here in SWE Fury. First time we've seen these guys get together in the ring, and it's going to be a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, right now, Hernandez, you know, you came out here last week. Talk to us a little bit about why you are here in SWE Fury. Brother, I've been living in Texas the last 35 years. I've wrestled all over the world. All I kept hearing, SWE, SWE, SWE. I want to check it out. I want to be where the big, or all the big dogs play. And this, uh, you can tell it's right here. This man in the ring, Rodney Mack, I've seen him for many, many years. Nobi Bryant, I've seen him. They're all, they're fighting for the belt. I want a belt. But more than a belt, I want to fight Mil Muertes first. You mentioned that name specifically when oh, you were yes. out here last week. Why is that? Well, it's real simple. I've wrestled Mil Muertes in Mexico, Puerto Rico, all over the world, and three, four, five different big promotions. And enough's enough. Yeah. Enough's enough. You know what I'm saying? Texas, this is my backyard. So I've been to Mexico, his backyard. I've been to Puerto Rico, his backyard. Now he's coming to my backyard. Yeah. And I don't like that. All right. I can't wait to see what happens down the road. I know that uh, that... That, that, uh, when you mentioned that name in the ring last week, that there was chatter backstage, and uh, hopefully the people in charge are working on making that happen. Well, sir, would you like someone coming to your backyard? I absolutely agree with you, sir. With totally someone, understand. Someone coming to your backyard, you have to show up. Yes, sir. That's exactly right. And, and I've been a, a fan of this young man's for quite a while. He has everything going from and I understand when you have a personal vendetta with somebody, it gives you a little bit more to fight for. This is going to be a hell of a match when it's signed. I can't wait for it to be signed. Oh! Ronnie Mack, he locked in that euthanizer. This TV title match is over. <laughs> he calls out the euthanizer, and he's dispatched with another SWE Fury star. Hernandez, great to get to know you, great to get to know why you're here. We hope that you get to see that match take place, and you get to take care of the man that's just been there kind of stepping into your backyard. Most definitely, thanks for having me. Please tell the commissioner, tell the owner, tell the promoter, book that match. Kevin book Sullivan, that match. He, he knows some people, he'll yeah. do it, he'll well, do it. I can it. tell you, sir, please, I'm asking you, as a, as a scholar and gentleman, please, book this match. I, I'm gonna book it just for myself, it's an empty arena. I want to see oh. that fight, brother. Oh, much appreciated. Thank you. You heard from the man himself. Kevin Sullivan said, book the match. That's right. That's right. Thanks for joining us out here, Hernandez. We are back. Somebody is leaving this building tonight as the new Texas champion, Gangrel versus Bloodhunter. That Texas championship match is next here on SWE Fury. We'll be right back. here on SWE Fury as the Blood Hunter makes his way to the ring, joined by Selena De La Renta. She is out here along with him. She is determined to leave here tonight with a champion. And he is going to be facing off against the legend Gangrel here on SWE Fury. And there he is, the Blood Hunter. The maniacal competitor, and what a physical specimen he is. And at ringside tonight, here to support him, is Selena De La Renta. As she looks on from ringside, Selena. 
And here he comes, Jake Grill making his way to the ring now. The Vampire Warrior himself here tonight. One of these men going to walk out of here, the new Texas champion, continuing a legacy of that title that goes back decades and decades. Held by the likes of Vern Gagne, Gino Hernandez, Kerry Von Erich, and many, many others. Wahoo. Gangrel spewing that. Well, wait a minute. They're out here getting started already. Blood Hunter starts immediately on Gangrel before he even has a chance to get in the ring. Oh, wow. Close line. Close line now. Gangrel is on the ground. Right there on the concrete in front of the fans. We need to get this in the ring. This Texas belt deserves a match that happens in the ring in front of the fans, but that's never been the case with Blood Hunter. And I guess it's just not going to be the case with Gangrel either. Gangrel and Blood Hunter fighting outside the ring now, raking the back. Big chop now as Gangrel returns the favor to Blood Hunter and throws him into a pile of fans. Wow! The fans in the chair. They are out in the fans now. We're doing our best to keep you close to the action, but all I can say is look out. Wow, into the post goes Gangrel. And now this one comes back into the ring where it belongs. And if you'll see here at ringside, Teddy Long and James Beard are sitting there. Teddy Long and James Beard sitting there with the belt. That new Texas belt is out there. Jason. Teddy Long and James Beard at ringside now with that Texas belt, getting ready to award that to the winner of this match. Once that has been determined, if we can determine it tonight as Blood Hunter and Gangrel are now fighting in the ring. I think Gangrel using some of those vampire teeth on Blood Hunter there, biting him on top of the head. This belt and the lineage going way back. Kevin Sullivan joining me up here now as he uh, was part of helping escort that belt down to ringside with James Beard and Teddy Long where it now rests on the table there and will leave tonight for the first time in many years around the waist of one of these competitors. Kevin Sullivan, tell me a little bit about the history of this great title. Well, we talked about it. Luthes, Vern Gagne, Dory Funk Sr., Terry Funk, Dory Funk Jr., Jack Briscoe, Pepper Gomez, everybody that was a world champion at one time or another held that belt. That's how prestigious it is. And after 35 years, it's coming back to Texas. That crazy scream of the Blood Hunter. Going to work on Gangrel there, big boot to the face, big stomp to the face rather. As Blood Hunter is determined to leave here tonight, that Texas champion. Here he goes, elbow drop misses by a mile as Gangrel is up and out of the way. Gangrel, great to see him here in SWE Fury. He could be the one that leaves here tonight as that Texas champion. Now biting, again biting the head of the Blood Hunter. A lot of biting going on in this ring tonight, Kevin Sullivan. Yes. What do you expect from a vampire in a crazy man? Well, and there, look.
walking on from ringside is Selena De La Renta. Take a good look at her, ladies and gentlemen. She, of course, is the one who does the speaking for the Blood Hunter, who doesn't do a whole lot of that on his own. Oh, these two. Chops. Ooh, Chops. Oh. oh. Wow. I'm surprised the chest isn't bleeding. Four now. What's he gonna do? Gangrel working his way around. Referee checking on Blood Hunter, and it seems he's still in the match. There's wow. Blood Hunter is bleeding through the mask. Is he? I can't tell from here. That's a bloody mask already. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Gangrel tearing it open now. Selena coming around, objecting to the brutality, but. Brutality is what Blood Hunter's all about. And now Gangrel biting again. Gangrel laying in the Blood Hunter like I haven't seen done here. No, but no, 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 no. No, not the DDT on the, oh, the hard concrete floor. A DDT on that hard concrete. What is Selena doing? Selena, what is Selena doing? She's moving the table. What is Selena doing? Get a shot on Selena. What is she doing over there? She's just pulled the table away from Teddy Long and James Beard. What is she doing here? Gangrel is now, uh-oh. Oh, well, slapping Gangrel there is Selena. Oh, Blood Hunter coming in from behind. He's got him on that table. Oh no. This won't end well. What is she saying? What is she saying? What wait a minute. What is he doing? What is he doing? No! Oh, what? What in the hell? What in the he just power bombs? Selena! Right there. Where is she? Where is she? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, you win the match. And new Texas Heavyweight Champion, the Blood Hunter. He, he has that belt. We have a new Texas champion in the Blood Hunter. And look at him. Selena. Selena laying in a heap atop Gangrel. He picks her up and he's leaving with her. Bloodied and battered. Our new Texas champion is leaving with Selena De La Renta. And he is. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got another belt on the line. That is the belt that's been around the waist of Charlie Haas and Will Alday. It's been a while since we've seen this young man here in SWE. Here. Here's the scary thing about this. We know Charlie Haas. We, we know Charlie Haas just sat back there and watched what happened in that last match. You know what that's going to do? Yeah. That's going to make him go twice as intense as he ever is. Yeah. And that's scary. Oh, Lord. Here goes Nigel Rabbit. James, you and I have been in the business over a hundred years. <laughs> it feels like have it. Have you ever seen anything uh, that crazy? Ever. Listen, listen, Kevin. I, I have seen some crazy stuff in this business, as I know you have. I have never seen that before. That is something I thought I've seen everything. But I, I'm sitting down there with Teddy Long. Oh, wait a minute. She made us move because the table was down there. And uh, I had no idea what she, oh my goodness, what is going on here? Well, Alday took the, the mic from Charlie Haas, and Haas turned around and decked him well, uh, before the bell. That was is, a punch. This is what I was afraid of. Charlie, Charlie's yeah. all amped up now. Yeah. That was a punch before the bell. 
And this match is underway with Will Alday seeing stars right now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I was really, like I said, I was really looking forward to this because such contrasting styles out here. Will is, is, a, is an athletic uh, high flyer. He can do anything in the ring, and, and we know what Charlie is. And, and yeah. uh, I was looking forward to this, and then after that carnage a while ago, I'm like, wow. Oh, all oh, day out there in the laps of fans on the front row now. Yeah, but maybe Charlie's not the only one amped up about that. There are... You actually heard her say, use my body? Yes, she told him to do it. Twice. Wow. 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 Charlie Haas and Will Allday on the outside here in the front row of the fans. Going in with that midsection there over the top. Oh, right on the waiting knee of Charlie Haas. Oh, my goodness. That's you're, experience for you there. Yeah, but you're right. He's he's sending a statement to everybody in the dressing room. Yes, he is. That he's still the king crazy. Yeah, yeah. He's, he definitely is, is out crazying people. Yeah. The king of crazy. I like that. I would definitely bestow that title upon one Charlie Haas. If I were the bestower of titles and such. Well, there's nobody in this in this organization as intense as Charlie, and, and, and that's no doubt about that. And that's saying something. We yeah, have some it, and that's the truth. People. Oh, Boss outside, goodness. almost right on top of the cameraman there. Boss decides to go on out with him. You just think about all the stuff we've seen in the last three weeks here. You know, the Max Castellinos and, and, and Mantel match. Oh. And, and Blood Hunter and Gangrel and now this. I mean, my goodness. There's still blood on the ground. Look at it. Oh, I'm sure there is. He's rolling around in it. Let's hope it's not his. All day being thrown back into the ring. Possibly as he rolls in, rethinking his trip to Canton, Texas here this night. Oh, he's working on his back now. Yep. Yep. He's going to start hurting his back. That started when you said that knee. You caught him. Yes, it did. Yeah, and, and you can count on that with Charlie. Once he gets started on something, he's going to stay on it. Yeah. Will all day coming back to SWE Fury specifically for a chance at that SWE Fury Heavyweight Championship here tonight against Charlie Haas. Man with a lot of heart. Uh, and a lot of talent. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Will Alday is nothing to be sneezed at, let me tell you. He's been making a name for himself all over the country. And, uh, you know, I, <laughs> coming back, he's been gone for a few weeks. And he's coming back and he gets Charlie Haas. I, he's probably wondering what we were thinking about. Yeah. Look, do you, James, do you think that when Charlie gets hit, he gets more infuriated than he does get hot? Yeah, it's like it's like kicking a bull or something you know you just make them mad you know yeah well do like to point out here at this moment guys that will all day wondering what you thought i i think uh he knew exactly what he was thinking when he came back here there's a there's the oh, SWO. Look, at look at that heavyweight champion on the line he could walk out of here as the champion well, tonight yeah don't 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 undersell that kid man he, he is a talented guy that's just a three count away for will all day here tonight in front of this capacity crowd at the Civic Center in Canton, Texas. That's Every it. chair we could find and put out was put out tonight. Yeah, and then some. And filled. Yes, yes. Now, I've seen Will all day beat a lot of guys twice his size, so size Whoa. is not a big deal for him. The speed and quickness of Will all day is going to be what dismantles the methodical Charlie Haas. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Hey, of the this go. kid came back. A little Manny Fernandez thing. Yeah, there. you can't beat this kid's heart. Well, they call that the uh, tamale taco, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Like burrito. Burrito, yeah, a burrito, flying burrito. That's wow. Right. Oh, look at there. Look at all day. Yeah, all day's coming on. A little burst of energy there. Gets him a count. Oh. Almost. Oh, he almost. That close. All day is punching his ticket for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. There it goes oh, down. He hit it. He hit it. He is not afraid to take a chance. Oh, oh my God. That was close. 
Oh, hey, I, I don't want to question the referee, but that was very close. Yes, it was. That was paper thin close. The referee was there in the ring, and we're sitting back here, but it was close. Well, having having been in that position many times, I know how it is. You know, you, you yeah. have to keep that eye on that shoulder, and and uh, I've had instances where I've actually come down on the third count and called it off because it was that close. Three. Charlie Haas now the pin of three, and he retains. Oh, my God. Well, guys, I can tell you one thing. You don't see this kind of action anywhere else that I know of. No, you don't. It only happens here in SWE Fury, and it happens every week right on your TV and coming to a town near you. Visit us online at SWEFury.com to find out when we're going to be in your neighborhood. We want to see you live and in person with SWE Fury for James Beard, for the legend Kevin Sullivan. I'm Bob Molden. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you again next week. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Wait a minute. What's going Look on here? This. What happened there? Hold Look. on. Look. Look. Keep it. Turn around. Here comes Kaz. Kaz is coming to the ring. Wait a minute. These guys know each other really well. Charlie Haas has no idea what lurks behind him, but he better turn around. Oh, my goodness. And Molina's in there now. Oh, Molina's in here. Wait a minute. Oh, what wow. is this? Look at Kaz. Talk about guys making a statement. Who at this? Haas holding that belt up high, and it's just eye level to Kaz. My goodness, it's, it's amazing how big this guy is. The crowd getting fully behind They want to see it, don't they? Oh, they do. Wouldn't that be a main event? Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, Charlie's not going to back off. No, he's not. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, well, that's not a smart thing to do, Nigel. What did he do? He, did he put his hands on Melina? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid he did. Yeah, he's going to Charlie to save him. Well, wait a minute. Lucky. Charlie's having none of that. He's lucky Charlie's Yeah. He's telling Nigel to get out of here. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Wow. Look what at that. Is it? He's throwing him back in there? Oh, no. Nigel Rabbit. He's been fed to the beast. Nigel Rabbit being fed right in there to Big Kaz. Uh, I think I find my way back to the dressing room right as now. As quick as I possible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nigel. Nigel, get out of there. Go, Nigel. Go. Oh, no. Oh! Ooh. Well, I guess he won't be doing commentary with us for a while. Uh, another yeah. statement made tonight. Yes. Oh, these, this crowd is sadistic. <laughs>